Now we can look at question two on the worksheet. Now, if you haven't watched the video on conductors in electric fields, you want to go back and watch that because it gives you a lot of information you need to solve this problem. But in order to make sure you understand what you're doing on this diagram, that's what I'm explaining in this video. So you have an existing diagram over here that shows electric field lines moving towards the right and a conductor, which is this sort of square with rounded corners shown on the sides. Now what we saw in those videos is that when you place a conductor in electric field, charge is going to build up. Could be positive charge, could be negative charge, could be both of them. What you need to do is draw your little plus and minus signs in the right places in here. Maybe after looking at all of it, you think that there should be a bunch of different plus charges in here. And so you end up drawing a bunch of little plus charges in the middle of it. Or maybe not. Maybe you decide that you should have an equal number of plus and minuses in the center. Go back and watch the videos and see. Or maybe you decide that rather than being in the center, you should put the pluses on one side and the negatives on the other side and line them up. But then where are the plus signs and where are the minus signs? So what you need to do is not go off of what I'm showing you in this video, but take a look at the other video, decide where your plus and minuses should go, and then on your paper, draw the plus and minus signs in the appropriate place on your diagram.